characteristics of sound waves. Sound waves are longitudinal waves that travel through matter by compression. If you see in this diagram here, we have sound traveling through a column uh, filled with air. Now, there are different regions to the sound wave. So the regions where the molecules become compressed, we call this compressions. And then areas where the molecules are more spread out and they're not as dense are what we call rarefactions. Now, a couple other characteristics about sound waves. The first characteristic is what we call pitch. Pitch is a measure of how high or low a tone of a sound wave is. It is determined by the frequency. So to give you an example, we have squeaky shoes. Squeaky shoes make high-pitched sounds, while big drums make low-pitched sounds. So essentially, pitch is really just the note of the, of the sound, of the sound wave. It's determined by frequency. So the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. And of course, the lower the frequency, the lower the pitch. In addition, we have loudness. Loudness is the measure of the volume of a sound wave. It's how loud it is. It is determined by the amplitude. So the higher the amplitude, the higher the loudness or the volume. And of course, the lower the amplitude, the lower the loudness or volume. This is why we call um, Amplifiers, amplifier. So amplifier is a is a device that um, amplifies or increases the loudness of sound. You might have an amplifier if you play guitar, if you're into uh, musical instruments. Okay. Now, the last characteristic, sound intensity. So sound intensity is an actual measure. It's the rate at which energy is transferred in a sound wave. It's also what we call the measure of loudness or volume of sound. There are two ways to measure sound intensity. The first equation is a direct measure. So it gives you an actual unit. The unit is in kilograms per second cubed. That's one direct measure, and this is the formula. It is I equals P power divided by 4 pi r squared. In addition, we have what we call relative intensity. So relative intensity is, is given by beta. And relative intensity is measured in decibels. So to give you an example, the decibel scale, this is a logarithmic scale. So for every 10 decibels, that's a factor of 10 times as loud. So 10 times as loud. So for example, if I had 50 decibels, this would mean 50 times as loud. So 50, t or I'm sorry, 10 to the fifth, my mistake, 10 to the fifth times as loud.